what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel um, in today's video we are going to be working on the 1990 Volkswagen Cabrio if you guys have been watching the vlogs and been keeping up with it um, in the last vlog I did a thermostat removal and like I said before I never know what I'm doing because I always just dive right in and if you watch the last video I kind of get doused in some antifreeze but um, in today's video we're still trying to get that water pump out it's just a continuation from last time um, in today's video we're gonna be working on taking the water pump out because that is our issue the water pump is does have a seized seal so coolant is draining from there um, yes what I could do is, is just kind of get all that erosion off and then re put it back together but that is not guaranteed to fix this so I'm just gonna replace the water pump but in today's video I need to take off the timing belt, the water pump, and the air conditioner compressor. Um, the Volkswagen Cabrillo is timing belt driven, so I have to make sure that the timing is back to how it was once I had it before. Um, what we had to do was get some nail polish and leave it where I had it last time on the block and then on the belt itself or on the belt itself and I believe the cover. However I measured it up, but there's two indications on your timing belt to let you know where it is gonna be on time. But go, let's go ahead and get today started. As always, before we start any video, huge shout out to Tuner Colt for the Remember the Buster shirt. This is like the three or four years ago, like Paul Walker tribute type area. Rip, rip to the man. Per usual, we got the setup for the day. The royalty free, lo-fi music, the shitbox FRS, and the original daily shitbox. So like I said before, we're going to have to replace, not replace, well hopefully I don't have to replace it, but take out this air conditioner compressor, and then down below, we're going to have to take out the main water pump. So, to do that, I'm going to take out that compressor, and then go ahead and take out the timing belt, and then take off the pulley and go from there. And it should just slide right off. Boom! All right, boys, the crankshaft pulley is off. All I had to do was use the air impact and it should loosen where the crankshaft pulley should come off and then your water pump belt should just come right off as well. As you guys can see, this is connected in here. Let's see, get that off. I'll worry about that later. And then what we're gonna do is, if you guys can see, where is it? I think under this glob of erodedness, I don't know if eroded is a word, erodedness is a word, but if you guys can see under this beautiful glob, there should be a five millimeter Allen bolt here and here. We're gonna take this off. And what this is, it's just going to take off the cover, and there's going to be two more bolts and nuts up there. This is going to take off the cover, which is going to let us finally take all this apart. Wow, that bolt is so filled with just all this 30-year buildup that it didn't even, the cover didn't even need to be unbolted. It literally just slid off. It was so dirty, it made itself lubricant. But... I will take that off. I might just be ended up replacing this whole plastic piece just because as you guys can see, when you don't work on a car for 30 years. All right boys, a little update. Had to get some shade out here, it's way too hot. But we did just take out the air conditioner compressor out and then now we're heading towards the water pump. Um, what we had to do was go ahead and take those four bolts out like I said earlier and then I had to take off the crankshaft pulley that removed the water pump belt and that led us to take off the radiator hose to now getting the air conditioner compressor out. And boom, the bracket for the air conditioner compressor is out, boys. All we had to use was metric 14 socket and these bolts came right out. All right guys, so after disconnecting these two hoses right here, 
from that flange and the other hose itself. We finally got the water pump out. As you guys can see, this is one, two, three, four, and then continuously around the water pump, this is an eight bolt water pump. There is a ninth bolt water pump, and the other hole is right here, but this one's an eight one. Like I said in the last video, oh shit. Like I said in the last video, um, this right here was the problem, all the green right there. So yeah, there's not even a point to try and clean this and put it back together. I'm just gonna have to get a brand new water pump and then take off this pulley and hopefully that will fix the issue. And the two hoses that we did have to undo connected to the water pump was the one connected to this flange and the other one that is connected to the bottom of the radiator. That is why you see current leaking of antifreeze. But once you remove those two and then you remove the two bolts here, uh, the four bolts actually here, the one, two, three, four, the four bolts there, then your water pump should just come out with ease. And like I said, depending on the build of your car, it could be an eight or nine bolt water pump. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, me and the mad scientist, I am gonna call my father a mad scientist because he is an electrical engineer and currently helping me today with the car. Um, we did come to a stump of the road, like I said. Um, like I said earlier, we were supposed to take this bracket off but we did not get to that point we kind of just dove straight in and the air conditioner compressor and the water pump just kind of was our main priority but we did get to this plastic cover piece to take off the timing belt because it was supposed to be a water pump and timing belt install but our luck the hex bolt that is down there is stripped so with this being said we are trying to figure out what we're gonna do all right boys so that the five millimeter hex bolt is finally out um, a way that you can get stripped bolts out of holes or your car or any situation um, actually if you do watch the videos Josh Josh is the one that taught me this but this is a five millimeter hex bolt and what that means is that the hex it's a hex on top of the bolt for your adapter but in any situation what you can do is go ahead and get the bit or adapter or anything one size bigger so if this is five get a six get a six or whatever's higher than the original number and get a hammer put the adapter to the stripped hole and hammer the adapter or whatever you want to use into the screw and you can shove it where it's going to finally catch and make the hole bigger but it's going to be tight and hold on onto your adapter or whatever you're using and then you can finally use your socket and turn it and finally get your bolt out so if you don't know that's a way you can get your stripped bolts and anything else all right boys so to get the timing belt cover off to get all this exposed you have the two holes there that the bolts bolts up to and then you have the other two holes here and then that is the where the six or the five millimeter hex bolt was stripped at and then we just go ahead and sawzall this off just to get the access through there and go ahead and take that off but like i said before you have a 10 millimeter bolt here and then you have the five millimeter hex bolt but we'll use a six and then i believe it's tens up here as well and that's going to give you the exposure to go ahead and mess with your timing belt what in stance nation are you doing still trying to figure out your seat all right let's see See how long it takes a, a 10 year old to put this in. I'm a 10. Okay, 12. Okay, okay you're doing it wrong. Okay. You're doing it, you're doing it already. Okay, this goes right to unlock it. Go ahead and pull it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put it back to the middle to lock it. Is this no, one no. In there? Boy, okay. Is it in the middle? Okay. Let me see. No. Okay, yeah, it's in the middle. Okay, so put this one, grab mm -hmm. it, and put it in the top hole there. This one? Yes. Locked. No, it's not. Stop. What are you doing? You're not. Now you're gonna take all that stuff out. It's locked. No, it's not. What do you mean? Boy, this goes in there. If you can let me get my own hand. Well, how hard is it for a child? Force it. Ooh, mm. This one don't reach. Yeah, it's because your boy, your boy's too tall. You know what I'm saying? I actually never do that one. Okay, go ahead and grab the other one. No, no. The other one on the left. It's a five point harness. Five means five strands. Okay, well you could try it. Yeah, definitely not. You little thickums? I'm a little thick boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're good. Well, grab the string wheel. I know to lock it in too, so you don't even have to tell me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, go ahead, dog. Stop! No! I want to see you bang gears. That's not banging gears, homie. I need you to bang gears. Loud. No, loud, boy. No, paddle shifters, no. 
Lock in, okay. bang some gears, boy. So besides playing with the crankshaft and all of our markings, if you do look at the spark plugs with the distributor cap, another way you can tell with your timing is that if the, the first cylinder and in the rotor of the distributor cap is facing left that we did our research on, then that should be in timed. And then after messing with the crankshaft three or four times and turning it both separate ways, our markings do line up. So what we're gonna do is just order a new timing belt and hopefully just send it and it works out. But like I said before, our lines have matched up a couple times. So I definitely think we're in the good there. All right, I came into the sun to show you guys a better view. Like I said, when I first started taking this apart, I definitely thought up here could have been the issue. But if we look down here at this O-ring, we can kind of see the buildup and kind of see also where it wouldn't have a tight seal where it could leak from. So this definitely could be the the issue that it originally is from. And then it could have just seeped all the way through where I was making those droplets from over here in the, this part of the seal. But as if we get, as when we get the new eight bolted water pump, this should fix all of our problems. All right guys, so moral of the video, we did find out that it was the water pump. It is that seal that we were talking about that is connected to the pulley. Um, like I said, we never know what we're doing. We just jump straight into it. But that is the whole reason why we made this YouTube channel and why we do these videos. So not only can I gain knowledge, but whoever is interested in these videos or the channel watches, they can learn something as well. The whole goal for this channel is to gain knowledge, learn more, and you know what? Just all around cars and just try and jump into things and not being scared to do things. There's a lot of stuff that I do not know. I will fully, fully say that. But that's the whole reason we're doing this and hopefully one day it takes us somewhere. But if you guys did like this video or you guys have anything to say, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section down below. Like I said, as always at the end of every video, like I say, no matter how far you get in life to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuces.